everybody welcome back to another godzilla battleline video and today we're talking about mecha godzilla 1974 as a leader and this is probably the most requested review from the season i know people pretty much generally had their thoughts on chibi godzilla right out the gate and uh it took people a few days to get mecha godzilla 74's like as a unit down but i think everyone kind of came to the same conclusion fairly early on but there are still players that are wondering if they should use Mechagodzilla as a lead, and there are players who invested a lot into him because he's their favorite unit, wondering if it was worth it. So I'm here to tell you. The answer is yes. Mechagodzilla is easily one of the better leads we've gotten. I would not say he's on the same level as Kamen Rider or Kiryu, but he's definitely a solid alternative leader if you want to use him. If you like you know, Mecha Godzilla's, and you don't want to use Kiryu, you don't want to use 93, this is the perfect one, if you want a great defensive leader, like character, leader, whatever, you can use him if you want to play him defensively, this is the best, this is probably the best leader on defense we've gotten, right, outside of maybe Kamen Rider, so, let's break it down, leader ability is the defense neo barrier, it costs two, it has a 120 second cooldown, this is the same kind of cost and cooldown as common rider right common rider's 120 he's not 150 right i gotta double check on that i'm pretty sure it's the same as common rider let me look really quickly no common rider's 150 so this actually is faster charging than common riders and you can use this twice a match i don't think you could use it three times this is probably twice a match kind of use and it restores the hp of all allied units and facilities in a circular area around self by six percent of a maximum uh of maximum hp every second for five seconds and reduces damage taken by allied units and facilities in a circular area around self by 80 percent for 30 seconds that's very important to know so i'm going to take a look at another leader really quick on my phone mothra and i'm gonna read her read you her ability mothra is a two cost 120 second cooldown and it restores four percent of the maximum hp of each allied ground unit on the battlefield every fifth for every you know, one second for every 15 seconds. Okay. This is a better Mothra. Okay. This is the first leader and actually the first character that is able to apply defense up to other characters. Okay. We have defense up characters already in this game. I'm just pulling through my phone real quick, looking at all the other characters. We already have two characters that give defense up to themselves. Ava Unit 1 takes 30% less damage when she's rushing, and Ava Unit 0 takes 70% less damage when she has her shield out. But those are self-buffs, right? She gave those to herself. Mechagodzilla can apply this buff to any character as long as they are within the confines of that AoE when he pops it. He also gives a heal boost to anything in that buff, and that's not just ground units, and not just flying units, it is anything, it includes facilities. I am unsure if it works on the energy base, but it does work on the chopper base and the embaw base. So if you want to use facilities and you put them close to your Mechagodzilla, you can heal those up and maybe get a few more uh, tanks out of it. So it even makes Mechagodzilla 93 even more worthless now but that is what it is listen healing six percent of your maximum hp every second for five seconds is big okay it is not i don't know if it's as good as the mothra's mothra's is four percent once a second for over 15 seconds so that's also pretty big but six percent over five is huge but we're really mostly focused on this damage boost now this is incredibly useful you can see in the middle screen right there like in the middle battle I gave the boost to my Burning Godzilla and to my GMK. You give the, the damage boost, I believe, also to your leader. I can't really see the buffs in the bottom. I think you also get the, the defense boost, I don't remember. But you most certainly get the heals. All right, Mega Godzilla 74 will heal himself. So this actually provides you with a leader that's an, another alternative counter to cure you to absolute zero cannons. Okay? With this Mega Godzilla. When you see that absolute zero cannon proc, the same way you would do for Common Rider, you can activate your ability. Give yourself the defense boost, give yourself the HP increase, and actually the absolute zero cannon will not do 90% of your health because of the 80% damage decrease. It's still doing a, I mean, a metric ton of damage, but it's not bringing you almost to death. And the trains following up are not going to get past your heals and that defense boost. It's just not. So you can save yourself from an absolute zero cannon with this ability. It is not as reliable as Common Rider because they can still cure you, you, Mogari, you, and you're still not going to have too much health, but you're not going to be like in such a tight predicament as you normally would be if you proc it right. 
So that's pretty big. I like that a lot. Overall, what am I thinking of this leader? I mean, he's got really good range, right? His attack speed is 2.8, so that's pretty solid. He is a single target leader. He does not have AoE despite switching from his, um, what is it called? The space beam or the space laser beam that shoots from his eyes to his missiles hands, his missile fingers. Uh, despite changing his animation style to that, depending on how close the enemy is to the leader, he actually does not have AoE, which is kind of a downside. That would have made him even better on defense because he would have an easier time defending himself. But he doesn't have the best time defending himself. He, he can hit from a pretty solid range away, but it's not the highest leader range we've seen. It's, also, it's not the lowest. It's, it's pretty good. You can see right here he's like fighting that crystal, but he's not really hitting that Space Godzilla on the right side. So... It is what it is in that department. Where would I rank him on a tier list? I think that maybe he's in the low A. I think that he's definitely, like, or not low A, but, like, how do we do the leader tier list? It's like, why would you do this to yourself? They're just okay. They're, they're great leaders and they're meta leaders. I think that he is either at the top of great leader or the very bottom of meta leader. I think once we get more levels on him, maybe in a month from now, we're going to see great results. There are already a few players that dumped a ton of G materials into him. I think there was a level 22 one running around because we have the stats. I'm pretty sure we have the stats for it in my Google sheet. So that means there has to be one of them running around somewhere. He's a good leader. I really don't have any problems with him. You're going to be able to facilitate a ton of amazing defensive play with him. He is not a very offense heavy leader because his leader ability does not affect the whole field. It just affects an area around him. So my favorite strategy that i've been doing is like i'll do fire dan and mothra leo i'll pop them and then right before the leo rushes i'll probably end up having two extra energy especially if this is closer to overtime and then i can pop that the both of them will rush up with the speed boost and the and the mothra leo rush and they'll have damage boost or not damage boost, i'm sorry damage um the negation the 80 percent negation so that's big right another one that i'm seeing used around is earth you know, playing Earth and then popping this ability on him for 30 seconds, an 80% damage boot or damage reduction boost to Earth is absurd. Absolutely absurd. You already thought he has a ton of health. Wait until he takes 80% less damage than he's supposed to. It's ridiculous. I saw I saw someone running Zeton with this deck. That's personally, if, if I had a high level Zeton, that's what I would be doing. A cost for him, right? But amazing defensive potential on him his explosion does percentage health that will kill he is constantly attacking Zeton I don't think Zeton can really be stunned either and his hitbox is ridiculous so he tanks a ton of hits and he has a lot of health so this would really be if you if you're interested at all in using an Ultraman style deck then you don't want to use Ultraman as your leader use Mecha Godzilla as your leader because he's going to boost the hell out of Zeton that's going to be crazy um the Ava units probably benefit a lot from this guy as well especially unit um zero so you could give unit zero the 80 percent boost and then she'll transition to her 70 percent boost so she'll always have that boost up which is pretty big i'm trying to think of any other characters that i saw or any other players today that i saw running mecha godzilla as a leader like what they did uh there's not really like any insanely specific strategies you need to be doing to optimize mecha godzilla he's pretty good plug and play on his own like, you just toss him in your deck, and before your push really gets moving, you just drop his leader ability and you call it a day. I like him a lot. Easily one of the best leaders we've gotten in a long time. I don't think he's better than Common Rider, but he's certainly better than, like, 80% of the leaders in this game. So, this is a fantastic ability. I'm very excited that we finally now have a leader that gives damage, uh, like, defense ups to your teammates. It makes sense that it only covers a small area of the field. Because if this was the whole field, it would be absolutely busted. But this is like power creep happening, you guys. This ability might not seem powerful, right? With the Mecha Godzilla, this is just like an okay ability the way it's worded and on paper. But now we're entering the territory of characters being able to apply defense up to other characters. That is big. I believe it's probably a direct response to the explosions to the Bomb Squad meta. We saw a bunch of anti-flying units and abilities added into the game because of the flyer meta. The bomb squad is pretty much taken back over after uh, I was going to say Kamanga after Kumo Augment got nerfed. Uh, this damage reduction, I think, is in response to that. And in the future, I think we're going to be seeing units with this ability very soon. 
So that's what I got for you guys today regarding Mecha Godzilla. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. Bye bye.